Hi everyone, my name is David, also known as Stryker. I am a testicular cancer survivor. And today I wanted to share a few things about uh, how to balance cancer and anxiety. Uh, we all know about the physical piece of you know, going through your cancer journey, but the mental piece is also a challenge. Um, and I remember those, those words, you have cancer, and all of a sudden my world was you know, turned upside down. So it's been a, a you know, interesting journey and everyone has their own path. So things that I've made sure that uh, I share with folks along the way um, are first to think about the people that are around you uh, at the hospital. Um, those folks are trained so well um, and it's so important to have your person. Uh, if I didn't have that nurse that came up to me and say, you know, you look so scared, um, but let's take a walk and she grabbed my hand and we took a walk and, and you know she and a nurse practitioner ever since that day they were my people um, and so here we are five years out and they still are and I can call on them at any time uh, when things are looking great when I'm down um, but it's really important to find those people in your life uh, that you could talk to that are maybe not family um, obviously medication can come into play uh, when dealing with anxiety and you know once in a while is okay as long as your uh, medical team uh, approves you know what you can take uh, I don't take medication that often and once in a while I do take a quarter pill of lorazepam um, but I try to, to manage my anxiety in different ways uh, especially when it comes time to my next scan uh, or my next doctor's appointment or uh, my next uh, uh, blood draw um, but things that I do too, I was, a, I was an athlete and so sport is very important to me. So when, you know, I'm a little down or, you know, kind of anxious, um, I try to be active. I try to exercise quite a bit. Uh, if, uh, if it's late at night, I may turn on a game. I watch a game or watch Sports Center, but I find something that I really am passionate about and try to get my mind off of, you know, all that I'm trying to think about uh, regarding uh, cancer or whatever it may be. Uh, I also meditate a lot. Uh, I I have a Peloton, but if you don't have a Peloton, there's a lot of resources out there and a lot of apps that you can find. But I often sit down and meditate, especially before I go to sleep, try to relax, try to breathe, uh, and just try to be at peace uh, so that I'm just not going to bed stressed and, and anxious. Um, a few other things that I've also done along the way is I picked up a few different hobbies. Uh, so I encourage you to think about things that maybe you haven't tried that, that you might want to try. So I'm not an artist at all, but I, I've been painting. Uh, paint by numbers is really relaxing. Uh, I may sit there for hours, uh, but it really soothes the mind. And if I'm listening to music and painting, it really can take my mind off of anything that I'm uh, worried about. Uh, additionally, uh, I've done puzzles, lots of puzzles. And you just get your mind going and you're trying to put it all together. Uh, but um, it's so helpful. So really what I'm encouraging is think about all of the things that, that uh, you may enjoy doing or the things that maybe you haven't tried but you've been curious about and give it a shot. And even if it's late at night, it can help you. It can help you sleep and it may help you along the way so that you may be less anxious. Again, we all go through this differently and there's no perfect solution. But finding that person, finding those hobbies, staying active and keeping your mind uh, going is all a great thing. Thanks for listening and I hope that some of these things help out. Take care.